all glory, all honor to the only one that deserve it, the only one of Israel. Um, let's let's start this off. These are also proverbs of Solomon, which the man of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied out. It is the glory of Elohim to conceal a, a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. So it's a glory of God to conceal a thing. But the honor of kings is to search out the matter. The heaven for height and the earth for depth and the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the drawers from the silver and there shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Take away the wicked from before the king and his throne shall be established in righteousness. Put not forth thyself in the presence of the king and stand not in the place of great men. For better is it that it be said unto thee, come up hither, than that thou shouldest be put lower in the presence of the prince whom thy eyes have seen. Go not forth hastily to strive, lest thou know not what to do in the end thereof, when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself and discover not a secret to another. These are really good for me to be just going over them. Verse eight, do not go forth hastily to strive. Least thou know not what to do in the end there when thy neighbor has put thee to shame. And it said, debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself. And don't tell other people about it don't discover not a secret to another that's the law that's not only a proverb let's continue least he that heareth it put thee to shame and thy infamy turn not away a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pitchers of silvers as an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold so is a wise reprover upon an obedient ear. Yeah, so you know somebody that's wise is some a wise reprover means somebody that's intelligent, somebody that's wise is correcting you. And when somebody is correcting you, is as an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold. So is a wise reprover upon an obedient ear. So if you have an obedient ear, then you'll like when somebody corrects you. You'll like when somebody that's that's intelligent tell you to do the right thing. And tell you, are you going astray? You're doing the wrong thing, family. That's going to be really good to you. To an obedient ear. Verse 13. As the cold of snow in the time of harvest, so is a faithful messenger to them that sent him. For he refresheth the soul of his masters. Whoso boasteth himself, whoso boasteth himself of a false gift is like clouds and wind without rain. By long forbearing is a prince persuaded, and a soft tongue breaketh the bone. Hast thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee. Least thou be filled with therewith and vomited. Withdraw thy foot from thy neighbor's house, lest he be weary of thee and so hate thee. So let's say, don't be at your neighbor's house so, so much that he don't even want you over there no more. Wow. Withdraw thy foot from thy neighbor's house, lest he be weary of thee and hate and so hate thee. Verse 18. A man that bear false witness against his neighbor is a maul and a sword and a sharp arrow. Verse 19. Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. Verse 20. As he that taketh away a garment in the cold weather and as vinegar upon nature 
so is he that singeth songs to a heavy heart. Verse 21. If thy enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, and Yahweh shall reward thee. So what does it say to do to your enemy? If thy enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, and Yahweh shall reward thee. The north wind driveth away rain, so doth an angry continence a backbiting tongue. It is better to dwell in the corner of a housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. I think it say this. It says this about three times, at least three times. I didn't read this. As cold waters to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. A righteous man fall down before the wicked is as a troubled fountain and a corrupt spring. It is not good to eat much honey, so for man to search for their own glory is not glory. He that have no rule over his spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. And once again, I'm giving all praises to Yahweh. I didn't do it for nobody on here in particular. Why? Because I'm giving all praises, all glory, all honor to the mighty one, the holy one of Israel, whose name alone is Yahweh. So it's not for you. But if you are a family, bro, hit me up. If you enjoy it, that's what's up. Praise Yahweh.